Tony. Now, this is one. Bony bites! Dogs love them! Now in blood, liver, and bacon flavors. So? Dogs are carnivores, Lucian. They eat meaty things. Don't you see how unfair it is to target ads at animals? A dog sees that on TV and thinks bony bites are great. Animals are such vulnerable consumers. Who protects them? You're gonna say us, right? Exactly! You met them? Gelling agent, monosodium glutamate, artificial liver color, hydrazine. Hydrazine? That stuff is known to cause hyperactivity in children. Are you sure? Maybe it just makes them run faster or have shiny coats. No, Tony. This is just the sort of thing I was worried about. We need to test these dog biscuits clinically. Okay. Look, there are some dogs. No, Tony! Don't! Uh, yeah. oh. Small children. Uh. Tony Parsons, I'm surprised at you. You can't test these things on dogs. That's animal testing. Something you know I am totally against. But they're dog biscuits. Well, it's not dogs that make them. It's people. So they ought to be people tested. You eat some. I can record whether you run around more or anything. No way. You eat some. Can't. I'm a vegetarian. Look at the label. No meat. Yeah, but their liver flavor. All right. What do you want to do? Lovely. Hi, Wayne. Want a cookie? Smell pretty good, but why are they bone shaped? Uh, uh, uh they're pirate cookies. Yeah. Hmm. Cool. <laughs> These aren't real pirate cookies. What's going on, girl pants? Sorry, Wayne. It was just. Well, uh, an experiment. An experiment? No, no, I... Yeah! To see if you turn into a wolf man. A wolf man? Oh, I like that. Hyper to me. No, I'm not convinced, Tony. It could just be Wayne being Wayne. <laughs> Morning, son. Yeah, are you looking for pimples? No, hairs. Hairs? Hairs? Oh, my. My son is growing up. You want me to teach you to shave? It would make me so proud. No! Can you really see hairs on me? No, actually, son, come to mention it, your skin's still soft as a baby's behind. Huh? Your trick experiment's not working yet, girl pants! <laughs> Shaking the mud off. 
No, I mean, well, never mind. Wayne's on the move again. now, and he's going straight for the 13th. Wow, he's really wolfing them down. What if Wayne really does turn into a wolf man? It's a figure of speech, Tony. Don't be so unscientific. Hi there, candy cups. But I saw this Wolfman movie once, and it really did happen. This guy went all hairy at night when the moon went full. <laughs> too many and they're making you hyperactive. No, they're not. I am not hyper. I'm a wolf man. takes to wear off. Those poor dogs. Time to get up, boys. Uh, okay, Mom. <laughs> Wayne? Him. Uh, is Lucian in? I, uh, heard something howl over here last night. Go find Wayne, right now! That boy's been hiding a howling fur pet in his room! I'm sorry, I still don't understand this. Now, what was Wayne trying to do? He was trying to turn into a... Look, there he is! some other time. Come on, Wayne. Atta boy. <laughs> Up you go. Not only are you not allowed to have fur pets, you are also not allowed to become a fur pet either. Mom, I'm sleepy. I need some more dog biscuits. No more dog biscuits for you, young man. Tip top results, Tony. I am going to write so many angry letters. You don't have to eat dog biscuits, son. One day, hairs will grow on your chin all by themselves, and then you can look forward to the manly smell of has chem razor foam and spicy chicken aftershave. What to... Oh. Oh. Oh.
Pinch, why do you all have to go? Because it's a fun family thing we can all do together. together. Now, Lucian, you know adults are not allowed in the kitty corral. <laughs> I'm bored. Tonight's the night I make farmhand third class. No more emptying spittoons for this cowpoke. <laughs> Congratulations. We've got another hot-to-trot rancher in our midst. Anyone else care to try for an upgrade? No, Dad, don't. Ooh, I'll ride. Dad! <laughs> Yes, sir, Sheriff Winkle. Making Cutter here into a wild bucking bronco. I'm gonna put in some riding practice so I can stay on that ornery old bull in the club. That's not gonna do it, Dad. <sighs> You're right, son. You wanna give me a push? No! I got a much better idea. <laughs> Just aces, son. <laughs> what is it? Climb on, Dad. You like it lots. Ready? Uh, I guess so. <laughs> <laughs> broken. Fuck. Maybe you can hammer in lots of nails and make them better again. Oh, no, 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 son. It's Woodworm. He'll, uh, he'll have to be put down. Something special, old cutter. A trusty sawhorse. Steady, splinter free. I I reckon my cowboy days are over. Oh, was he, he was such a good horse. <laughs> Um, what are you doing? 
going down here? <sighs> I'm bored. Well, why don't you go away and build yourself another sawhorse? Oh, there could never be another cutter. I thought maybe I could help you with the cleaning. <laughs> thought it might help if I put things into categories like I do with my soap samples. See? Uh, the car exhausts go here, and the hubcaps go there. Large steel pin, medium-sized steel pin... Dad, give me that! But I... You can't mess with junk, Dad. It's wild. If you want to be all organized and everything, go find Eco Geek. <laughs> this place is enchanting. Pure wilderness, majestic nature. The honey smells. Whoops. Hey, guys. Hey, guys. Oh, guys. Dad. I'll get my dad to bring the tractor. <laughs> you could suggest that he does more overtime. Tell him you need new shoes and stuff. We're going to do better than that. We're going to make your dad into a cowboy again. A cowboy? But he doesn't even have a cow shed. I've never been to an old-fashioned shed raising before. I know. Isn't it physical? No, thanks. I never eat anything off a stick. <laughs> Tarnation, it's all new and shiny. Wait till you see what's inside. <laughs> a horse, it's a barber chair horse, all metal and totally worm proof. in that saddle, boy. And, uh, <clears throat> close the door. Feeling confident, Cramp? I sure am, Sheriff Winkle. Uh, sir? <laughs> Yeehaw! I pronounce you farmhand grade three. But you might want to leave those on for your new job, Cramp. Farmhands grade three have to muck out the kitty corral. <laughs> Thank you. 
joining us for a few weeks while his father works in town. May I have a volunteer to show him around? Okay, Lucian. This is Brick Barker. Brick, this is Lucian Cramp. He'll be your tour guide. Hiya, tour guide. Me and my pop eat nothing but five pound steaks. And when he was in the army, pop killed a bear with his bare hands and then roasted it on an open. Gross. You got a problem? No, no problem. <laughs> I'm hungry. More food. The lunch ladies are very strict about portion control. But maybe because you're new, you can ask. <laughs> I, I ain't talking to the giant women. You do it. But I'm not hungry. <laughs> Excuse me? I hear a friend of Mr. Pretty is selling designer hairnets and other food service fashions in the teacher's cafeteria. Really? <laughs> nice one, tour guide. <laughs> <laughs> like a Tasmanian devil with attitude, Tony. He out-bullies Wayne by a long shot. Huh? I heard that, lizard legs! Take it back! You're more afraid of me than anyone! Oh, no, Wayne. Face it, compared to Brick, you're an amateur bully. Master! 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 Ah, oh, forget this, I'll push you. Looks like there's a new terror in the schoolyard, Wayneykins. He's not so tough, toilet teeth. Watch this. Lucian, get back on the spinning around. I'm gonna push you even faster and make you fall off and barf, cause I'm the best bully. Hey! You just stepped on my shoelace. Sorry, I didn't do it on purpose. I... I like you. We should be friends! Friends? Friends? I never had a friend before. Okay, put it there, friend. Oh. Oh. Hey, tour guy! I don't need you anymore. I got a friend. Glad it worked out for you. And me and my new friend challenge everyone to a game of dodgeball. <laughs> Come on! Somebody pick up the ball! Or else! I got it! You're out! You're double out! What? Oh, I wish Pop could see me now. Today for music appreciation, we are going to learn about a wonderful art form called opera. Aww. Excellent. Ow! Wayne, you're one more yelp away from detention. Bad 
giant woman. Quiet, Wayne. <laughs> Hiya, friend. Ah, don't touch me. Come on, let's play. Can't. Been. Your friend is waiting for you. Ah! What took you so long? Hey, good to have you at the chuck wagon, Brick. <laughs> uh, <clears throat> how much do you weigh? Uh, 200? 220 pounds? <laughs> Uh, yes, uh, we, we're so glad Wayne has a little, uh, big, um, uh, new friend. Mommy, can I have another meatball? Of course, dear. <laughs> yes, first, I guess. Ow! Ow! Can we do something else? No, this is fun. Ow! Get back here, friend! Take a wee wee break! <laughs> so, how do you like getting bullied? I'm not getting bullied! Rick's my friend! I have to go home now, but I'm borrowing some of your comics. That's my whole collection! So? So, enjoy them! What's happening to Wayne is so ironic. The bullies getting bullied. It's the lovely swamp, Lucian. Plus, he deserves it for the way he bullies you. But I actually feel bad for him. I wonder why Brick behaves like he does. If only I could figure him out. Wayne's your brother, and you can't figure him out. Yeah, but Wayne's just... insane. Help here, dear. You sorry excuse for a man? Give me that. You can't even open jars. And if it weren't for my job, we'd be living on the street. Well, <clears throat> technically, Pumpkin, we do live on the street. Don't you sass me and get my dinner! Isn't it obvious? Rick must be ashamed of his tiny father. And scared of his giant mother. There's nothing wrong with being tiny, Lucian. How's this gonna help Wayne anyway? Simple. Wayne can tell him. If Brick understands why he has problems, he can become a better person. Wayne can help him have a cathartic, eye-opening, life-changing experience. Like on a talk show. Oh. <laughs> I don't want to be your friend anymore. You're a bully. Call me a bully again, and I'm going to hurt you. Oh, Wayne, you're so brave for taking Brick on. I'm not fighting. I just want him to leave me alone. Go get him, you beast. You hit me. No, I didn't. Now, promise to be friends forever, or else. Listen, you, you... Hey, I forgot what I was supposed to say. Brick, we know about your dad being tiny and your mom being really big and pushing him around. And maybe she pushes you around. But that's no reason to push other people around. That tiny guy is my stepdad. My real dad is building a skyscraper. And my mommy would never push me. She loves me! But, uh, being the product of a broken home has turned you into a bitter bully? You're kooky. I think Brick's just mean. Free candy for everyone who jumps Brick! Police try 
track Mom down again, we gotta split. Ah, don't touch me. By the way, Wimpo, Mom told me to clean up this morning, so I threw away all your comic books. My comic books? His comic books. Hey, giant girl, Brick said you were a thunderbutt. Bad Brick! <laughs> I'm not a victim. You are. Did you learn anything from all this? Yeah. This. Ugh. Very cool. Wayne. What? You just pushed me into the door frame. Sorry, girl pants. I was turning. Maybe I forgot to signal. Boop, boop. Have you noticed that woman across the street? Um, yes, I saw her moving in. She seems very suspicious. She does? Marcia saw her at the supermarket buying foreign food and nature-friendly cleaning products. Do you know anything about our new neighbor across the road, dear? Marcia and Tandy think she's suspicious. Maybe she's a spy! She's not a spy, Wayne. Marcia and Tandy are always suspicious of anyone new in the neighborhood. Spies do exist, Lucian. Sure, Dad. And what exactly would a spy want in Soap City? I've just been given a brand new deodorant to sell. Maybe she's after that. You guys are nuts! Maybe, but spies are cool! I'm gonna be a spy when I grow up. You don't know how to grow up. Hmm? Ha! You're learning, lady legs! Have a nice... Worried about spies? You can't be too paranoid, Mrs. Cramp. That's why I recommend Spy King high-tech protection products. Oh, Agent X, you, you surprised me. <laughs> How did you get in? They don't call me Agent X for nothing. <laughs> Take a look at the catalog, Dotty. And they all think she's a spy, Tony. It's crazy. Lucian, you're scaring me. She's not really a spy, is she? No, Tony, there aren't any spies around here. That is the whole point. Baby monitor, Wayne. A simple two-way radio to let you know when your baby wakes up. Yeah? Well, it's not! That lady's up to something! Oh, hello. I just moved in across the road, and I wondered, could I borrow some sugar? Ooh, you keep a very tidy home. Perhaps you'd like to come over for some coffee sometime. And Just take the sugar and go. Oh. See? She is spying on us. I ordered.
gift you a Spy King security briefcase today, honey. And we guarantee speedy delivery. Hey, how did you get in here? Your new briefcase is easy to use, Mr. Cramp. You just use these keys to type in your personal password. You know, I feel safer already. Got any other stuff? Of course, little man. Take a look at these samples. Whoa. We'll take it! We'll take it all! Wayne, I don't think we can afford all those fancy gadgets. But this is an emergency! We've got a spy next door! No, we don't. Now, son, it's always a good idea to keep an eye on your neighbor. If there is a security risk, one needs to be prepared. I could listen to you talk all night. If only I had the time. But there are others in need of protection, too. Let me show you the door. I don't get it. This Agent X guy just comes in and out of our house whenever he pleases and nobody even cares? Oh, gosh, I've got other worries, Lucian. I, I can't open my new briefcase. I'll help you, Dad. Hey! games on a tricycle is very dangerous, young man. Sorry, bye! I'm confused, Lucian. First you say there aren't any spies around here, and now you say that Agent X guy is spying on you, and you're looking for a secret tunnel? Well, how else would you explain the way he comes and goes, Tony? I don't know. Is it, sir? Then how do you explain this? Uh, hey, you got it open. It's all been a bit of a mix up. <laughs> that case of spy stuff just looked like my case, but the password was girl pants. It wasn't mine at all. Don't look at me, lady baby. I'm not a spy. If you ask me, you all owe the woman across the road an apology. The only spy around 
here is Agent X. Don't be horrible, Lucian. Agent X isn't a spy. He's an agent! Ah! Uh -huh. There's my briefcase! Agent X just put it there. No, he didn't. Hello, Dad Neighbor. We uh, brought you some cakes. Huh, what are they? Spy cakes? Do they have secret bugging devices inside? <laughs> that Mrs. Cramp is a suspicious woman. We never liked her. Today, and I expect you to look sanitary. Naturally, Mother. Queen, darling, it's time to get up. You need to decide what you're going to wear. <laughs> Too hairy. Too recreational. Okay, Wayne. Can you find something to wear by yourself, or do you want Mommy to help you? <laughs> All right, suit yourself. But don't be late for breakfast. <laughs> Getting anything messy on your good clothes. Oh my, you boys are gonna be late. Wayne! 
so excited about getting snapped by old one eye it's not going to be old one eye mari that's the whole point it's his son and he's different he has yet to become jaded by the monotony of school portraiture look okay sure this lady is pretty but what has she sacrificed to get there her dignity her self-respect her soul perhaps but see it's miss hissy Miss Hissy. Wow! This guy really is good. <gasps> what? Nothing. It's just that you look like a freak. None of your colors coordinate. Most of your clothes are on back to front, or they're too small, and there's a pair of underpants on your elbow. So, girl pants, like anybody besides you is gonna notice. <laughs> Wendy, work with me. I am working with you. I'm smiling, aren't I? Yes, but it doesn't seem like a real smile. I want real. I see kids as real people. Small, real people. You're starting to make me angry. What do you want this picture to say about you, Wendy? What makes you, you? What do you love most in the world? Getting my own way. Good, good. And what if you can't get your own way? Then I scream very loud, like this. Ah! Great. Now that's real. Give me more real, Wendy. Come on. You're determined. You're ambitious. You're a force to be reckoned with. Thank you, Wendy. Who's next? Hello. What's your name? Lucian Crap. Trying to say here, Lucian Cramp. That he's a girl pants! I should like to be photographed holding the sword of truth and an olive branch representing world peace. Hmm. Hey! Got any dead animals? Wow! Wow! This is real! Such passion! Such energy! Look at this! Underpants on the elbow! The, the irony! It's so in your face! Such a bold, naked, personal statement! Naked? You, my friend, are a true fashion original! Oh. I'm a what? What's your name, kid? Wayne? Everybody, smile! Cool! Yeah. Look! There's Wayne! He's so bald and naked. He's so real. Quick! Let's swap a sock so our colors won't match. Ew. This guy really is good. <laughs> Hey, Lucian, what are you doing looking like that? What exactly are you referring to? Hey, what? Get real, Lucian. Tucked in is out. Did you see that? Wayne keeps cool scrap in his locker. So? Yeah, so? <laughs> so? Where'd you get the great scrap, Wayne? Dirty Joes. Scrap is, uh, what I do. Oh. Bold. Original. <gasps> what are you looking at, girl pants? Go away! Yeah! yeah. Go, Go away, away, girl pants! pants. Flab face? Yeah! yeah. Flab face! <laughs> Lizard legs? Worm features? Ooh, worm features. I like that. Hey! What happened to all the stuff? All gone. 
kids been going crazy, buying up everything. No! This is my world! Give me that! Friends turn nasty, hey? Well, there's only one way out, Wayne. You'll have to fake your own death, and you'll need to make it look good to get these fiends off your back. <laughs> what a dork! That's it! Splendid! I'll get some ketchup and start a bonfire. Hey, yeah! Hey, wine weasel! I mean, Wendy! Wait up! I've brought in all the photos now, but I was wondering if I could have a word with that boy Wayne again. I so enjoyed working with him. We, oui. Of course, Mr. Nui Soms. I would be happy to oblige you, but apparently that Wayne boy hasn't bothered to turn up today. Lucian, is your brother sick? Um, not that I know of, Miss Hissy. But it's not beyond the bounds of possibility that he could have suffered a fatal accident this very morning on the way to... <gasps> Wayne! Good morning, Miss Hissy. Sorry I'm late. You look like my mother. Uh, hey, it's a fashion statement. Anyone want to copy me? Children, recess is over. I'm sorry, Mr. Nui Sans, had to be subjected to this spectacle. And I'll see you after school, Wayne Cramp. <laughs> Sweet plan, Wayne. Bet you wish you thought of it, don't you, girl pants? Actually, somehow I'm glad I didn't. Dress boy! Wayne! Wayne! Uh-oh. You want to come to my house, Wayne? No, Wine Weasel! Go away! Wake 